<laughs> yeah, that's right, everybody. Today we're gonna be making fun of the Jesus Rocks Predator, because, you know, Christianity is a religion that just needed another predophile. Dede, though, walking into a sting operation has got to be pretty social life ending, but for it to be televised, like, you gotta have worse luck than a black cat with a gambling addiction. Like, I, I don't even know, bro. What's crack a lackin' everybody? It's your boy Thundros coming at you with a short TCAP video today, and uh, what can I say? I found you guys a nice little preto to make fun of. This is Matthew, he's 22 years old, 6 foot 5, and according to his inmates, 3 inches. But he's here to repent at the church of TCAP with his pastor, Chris Hansen, so uh, kick back, relax, and enjoy, and let's get to roasting this moron. Hi, come on in. I just gotta put this in the dryer real quick. Okay. This girl has a voice like Sporta Stephanie from Lazy Town and a bad wig to match. The fact that this guy didn't see a sting operation a mile away is just like... How down bad were you, bro? Listen, it's okay to be a little desperate. We we've all done things we're ashamed of, but a 13-year-old in a bad wig, you've just crossed the line. Just take a seat, because if I don't put this in the fire, it gets really wrinkled. I'll get in a lot of trouble. Come on into the kitchen and take a seat. I even made some sweet tea all the time. You know, willfully ignorant is the first way I would describe this guy. I mean, girl has spouted Chris Hansen's catchphrase twice now, and on top of that, treats on the table. He's either dumb or he wanted to be caught, and I'm just gonna go ahead and assume the latter because I really need to believe in humanity a little bit. Cogburn wanted a blonde, and Emily isn't naturally blonde. So we had to improvise and come up with a blonde wig for Emily to wear. Yeah, you see, the girl was not blonde, so we got a blonde wig, like... Yeah, okay, why'd you find the cheapest one you could get? Listen, I'm just saying, they had a network television budget and they found something blonder than Dolly Parton. And look, I don't want to talk too much crap, I mean, it worked, but, like, y you couldn't have looked for five extra minutes. Why don't you have a seat there and uh, get comfortable for that? I had a feeling this was gonna happen. You had a feeling what was gonna happen. Go ahead, sit on, please. No. Uh, well, no, this is, I need to talk to you about a couple things, and I think you're going to want to talk about it. It's going to take a few minutes, so why don't you have a seat? I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, no, I, I don't think the hindsight matters. Listen, you got to look at the upside here. Most people that almost commit a felony don't, you know, usually get to meet a celebrity. Just a healthy reminder that there's always an upside to a situation, no matter how horrible. Is this going to be on the national news? I'm sorry, I'd be on what? Is this the national news, all that stuff? Which one are you talking about? Or do on 13 or, or NBC. Dude's gotta stop sitting here talking like boom howers. That is gonna be on the dango the, the national news on my Like, yes, this is gonna be on television. You're talking to Chris freaking Hansen. You're asking questions you both don't wanna know, but already do. Listen, I understand. He's scared, he's worried, he's a little erratic, and uh just, nobody cares. Okay. What was your plan here tonight? I, I can't answer that as I want to because I've been in a struggle myself with what I want to do because I'm, I'm still a virgin and I just... I'm sorry, do you want to repeat what you just said there? I'm still a virgin and... <gasps> Caught in a sting operation, Caught on television, just admitted to never swiping his V-card. Homie is taking L after L after L. Like, where does it end? You know, if this boy wasn't such a creep, I'd say let's just go give him a hug, but uh, he is going to remain untouched. And you thought that it would be okay to come over here and visit a young girl home alone. I wanted to think it was okay, but... I wanted to think it was okay. Yeah, and I want to believe in unicorns. It doesn't make them real. It's weird that he thinks this is some kind of defense. Like, uh, I, I think it should be all right. Yeah, no, it shouldn't. Now, I'm looking at this chat log here. 16 minutes into this discussion, you ask if she can do deep throat. Boy! You can just tell this dude has never talked to a girl. He, he's a virgin in talking to women. That is the lowest form of a man. Here's a guy, looks like the kind of guy anybody would be, you know, happy to have their daughter date. He, you look at his MySpace page. His hero is God. His motto is Jesus rocks. Listen, having a MySpace is a massive red flag, but that Jesus rocks thing should be setting off alarms. I'm sure homie just wanted to show this girl how they do it in the Old Testament. You got toys? Is, is there a need? Um, well, I want you to uh, square that with what's on your MySpace website where you talk about Jesus Rocks. 
listen, this guy just isn't giving me much to work with, with these, uh, um, uh, like, homie, come on, I know you know that your life is basically over, but you could at least enjoy the 10 minutes of everyone in the world hating you. Like, come on, throw a pie or something, Let, just, just have some fun, joke around, it's Chris Hansen. That's the struggle I'm in. And in Heroes, God, duh. You're going to do this too. Well, you need to know that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens online. If there's anything else you'd like to tell us, we'd like to hear it. Otherwise, you're obviously free to be on your way. Yeah, someone should probably tell this guy that it's a little too late to, uh, Peace out. You know what's interesting to me? That when these people are faced with their own disgusting horribleness, none of them can seem to sit and stomach it. It's almost like they knew what they were doing was wrong. As I'm finishing my conversation with Cogburn, I ask if, you know, there's anything else he'd like people to know. And he turns and says, Be careful. Keep your jeans in your jeans. Keep your what? Jeans in your jeans. That is probably the most redneck way a person has ever said keep it in your pants and it is nothing less than I would expect with a profile like his. If only he could have followed his own advice. I mean, don't get me wrong, he probably still wouldn't have had a girlfriend, but prison is still a lot worse off. Shit, so get on the ground! Get down on the ground! All the way down, down, down. And there you have it, folks. Police using excessive force. Just kidding! Not possible when dealing with one of these predophiles. Crap, they should have whipped out the nightsticks and tasers and just gone to town. I mean, how often do they get to take down someone that's genuinely evil? I'm just kidding, people. It is never okay to use excessive force, even if you're dealing with a child diddler. Matthew, how'd you go at the house today? I'm just curious. I pulled up um, in front of the house, like she had, she had said, and got out and she was coming out the door and I saw she had a wig on. I was like, this is odd. I was just a little curious. Yeah, I'm a little furious. Oh, I saw she had a wig. Yeah, no, you should have ran, you dumb idiot. It's sad, but I, I, I'm not even surprised he got caught. He's just not a smart person. So he actually only got sentenced to four years in jail and then 16 years of probation. And you might think, hmm, maybe he turned his life around. Nope. He re-offended in 2006 and got 14 years added to his sentence. And I just thought of some very interesting irony. And I just thought of some very interesting irony. This guy got locked up in 2006 for 14 years, which means he went into lockdown until 2020 just to come out and end up back into the C-19 lockdown. I'm not saying I believe in religion, but sometimes God's timing is just Perfect. Anyways, I'm gonna start wrapping this video up. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me out a ton. Otherwise, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundro signing off.